So guys, let's talk about the acting career of Will Smith for a few seconds. He's come out with some great films like The Pursuit of Happiness, Men in Black, I Am Legend, and the fun romantic comedy Hitch. While you keep in mind that he has some great films and he's also a terrific actor, he also has a bunch of shit boxes that you call movies as well. Like After Earth, starring Jaden, thank god my dad's name is Will Smith, Smith, and Hancock, where he plays basically a homeless black Superman. And I'm happy to say that the film Focus can play as a comeback to his acting career. Film Focus is directed by the same two directors that directed the film Crazy Stupid Love. The plot of this film is about Will Smith and he's a con man and he takes under his wing an inexperienced thief and that's Margot Robbie and things get complicated when true feelings come between them. Now the two lead performances in this film are great. Now we all know that Will Smith is a great actor, he's one of my favorite actors and in this film he's flawless, he gives a great performance. To this day he's still one of the most likable actors in Hollywood and he always brings such charisma to the screen. Now Margot Robbie is playing opposite him and she's never really had that big of a role before. Her role in The Wolf of Wall Street wasn't that big. But to me in this film she hit the nail on the head. She's playing opposite the veteran Will Smith and to me she brings her A-game and together they just have great chemistry and they work through this film so well. The idea of this film is very original but the problem with it is, is that it takes so many twists and turns that it just becomes so predictable because you can't have so many twists and turns without it having some effect on the audience, the audience being able to guess what's going to happen next. And since the plot of the film takes so many turns, the plot becomes kind of bloated and convoluted and it's kind of hard for you to keep up to. Another interesting thing in the writing is the plot structure. It's not your usual three act film because when a new scene starts you're in the dark and you don't know what's going on and it really just keeps you guessing throughout the film. Another really original thing they did with the film was that they they took the title of it, which was Focus, and they made it play a big part in major scenes of the film. When Will Smith is kind of losing his grip on the rules of being a con man throughout the film, the camera loses focus and then comes back into focus again, and I just thought that that was a pretty interesting thing to do with the title being Focus. When I first left the theater, I did not think much of this film, but ever since I left, I haven't been able to stop thinking about the film, and it's really stuck with me. So in that case, guys, I'm going to give the film Focus. A B. The film offers two great performances with actors that have great chemistry together. The plot is very interesting and original, but at times it's predictable. The film was shot and lit beautifully, and it was very refreshing to see a film that was different than the normal three-act structure. So guys, I actually do suggest you go check this film out in a theater near you. If you've seen Focus, let me know what you thought about it below, and also I have a question for you guys. What is your favorite movie that has to do with a con man or con man? If I had a pick, I'd probably say... The Dark Knight, I don't know if that really counts, but the opening scene is very epic and it has to do with the Joker robbing a bank and that was just very epic. So guys, tell me what you thought of Focus below and keep coming back for more videos and I'll see you guys later.